and let's get ready to start. What's up, Bernie Sibby here? Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today we are hopping into Once Upon a Time episode number eight of season number four called Smash the Mirror Part One. Hopefully it's a great episode. Hopefully it's a lot of fun. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series. If you have, of course, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, Patreon for the full uncut and edited reaction. Uh, episodes extra early over there if you want them. If you don't, totally cool. Episodes here whenever they show up. So last episode we got to know a little, like, not a little bit. I mean, we got to know enough about the Snow Queen. Got to see her backstory, the situation with her sisters, what actually happened. Um, I'm still not down with her reasoning for wanting Emma. Her reasoning is essentially, you have powers, I have powers. We should be friends, <laughs> like essentially, we should be family. I'm not a big fan of that as a reasoning for a villain, um, but it is what we got. Uh, we'll see where it kind of plays out. Hopefully it plays out in a cool manner. Um, other than that, I don't recall any other major things. I mean, at the end, we know Rumpel's involved somehow. What the hell he did is a whole other thing. Um, we got Hood's whole situation where he essentially says he's not longer, he's no longer going to be a man of honor. He's going to cheat on his wife. So well, that's something. Actually, well, I don't know if it's cheating or if it's, I don't know if, um, if that's his wife, but he's messing around with, uh, Gina, so we'll see how that turns out. Uh, there was there any Henry stuff last episode? Um, I think so. But we're gonna hop in here. Let's have a good time. Pretty much. Here we go. Long time ago. No backstory. Time ago in Arendelle. Oh, this is when you kidnapped the sister. This is right after you kidnapped. You kidnapped Elsa. And that shit was loud. This is like right after that. Not Elsa, Anna. Right after you kidnapped her. Any closer? I love you, kid, but you gotta go. Let's go! What the fuck? You did that one on purpose. That was a bit, uh. Interesting. Oh, they they spent the whole night up in here. Okay. All we did was cuddle and talk. We're fine. Nothing bad happened. It's me. Walking away from you at the bar. What? Does she Does know? Does he know that she? I don't know. Killed Marion originally. Just appeared when Henry needed it most. Did a rule that villains don't get happy endings, Henry even if they this. change, even if they try to be good. Put him to me. I'd be happy to have more than a conversation. Okay, we're gonna beat up the author of the book. I wish it were that simple. <laughs> but I don't know where he is, or who he is, or if it's a he or a she or an it. You know one thing I, I just I can't get over. Think a big yellow and I wish that they would have fixed it. Would be easier to find. Perhaps. His characters that wear the same outfit all the time. Since, you know that's what she bloody told us. Well, the good news is thanks like, to the ice wall, I'm a can't leave town. I like not right. Like she should have different clothes. She's been here Her several days. Will just keep spiraling. Probably a week or two. That's right. This was a bad idea. It hurts. She's out in the woods. I thought I could help calm her down, but when I showed up, it just made things worse. Come with me, I'll clean you up in the bathroom. I mean, what Henry's trying to say is, y'all suck at finding people. Down, it's <laughs> when your powers are out of control, everything's upside down. And you don't want to be anywhere near the people you care about. Wonderful. Well, should we send Sneezy up? Engine, awaiting your royal judgment. Oh, there must be some misunderstanding. She called me a monster. Hey, well, you I'm afraid she was very clear on her My feelings about our power. My sister versus random ass aunt who showed up. You gotta go to she's the dungeon. My sister, she's always supported me. I felt that way. Go talk to about your sister. My sister. You know him? Oh, I don't. If she didn't go down there to talk to her sister, then I don't feel bad about any about anything that happens to her after that. 
Like her being sad that her sister is missing or whatever. That's on you. Who's in here? Oh, this must to help with this affliction. Oh, just fine, do it. You haven't heard what I have to say. I don't care. My son is in pain because of me. Just fix it. I have to die. This. This is an ancient spot. All right. Now let's we'll talk to your sister. There we go. All right, at least you did this. It's smart. Let's go talk to her. Now the question is: Is it a fake Anna down there? Like a frozen Anna? Like she made like a sculpture? I need to see my sister Anna immediately. Why are you coming all extra mad for? With Ingrid, I'm so sorry. Hey. I apologize. You were fantastic. Yeah, you were dark. I was absolutely crushed. <laughs> Who says that while they're like smiling? Yeah. I got this back from the jailer. Crushed. Thank you. When they took this, it, it was like they were taking you. The reason she hurt him is because she was trying so hard not to hurt him. It sounds very convoluted when I try yeah, to explain it now. No. Is something causing her magic to go haywire? I can't remember. Where's Henry? Is he okay? He's fine. He's upstairs. We've been trying to call you all night. Well, I'm sorry if I don't respond to your every summons. I mean, I would have trusted him. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Let's go, man. Henry oh. and Neil. <laughs> I'm surprised I would have it trusted. You. Hey, I may have slept in a barn, but it was a spotless barn. Well, it was better than this. this part of the Keeping watch. And remember, if you see Ingrid, use the secret signal. Wait, do we have a secret signal? Uh, I think run will work just fine. <laughs> What's up with the mirror? Doesn't she have a, uh, does she have like a mirror that she walks, she holds and stuff? What is it, Elsa? Imagined. Must not have been very comfortable. Oh, this is the oh, thing that happened with to um. Make do. But she's, she's going you froze right Han when she first showed up. I didn't know that was Han. I, could, I was like, what? Who is that? That was the Han thing, right? That was Han. Han's whatever. You think you can take her away from me now? Ooh. Wait, he just what walked around in a circle. Did he do something? Oh my god. Smart bastard. Remember that. the urn your sister placed you in? Uh-huh. It had the power to limit your magic. Oh, so destroy that urn. Well, funny thing about magic. Just you. And I'm afraid. Emma Swan. What are you gonna do to Emma though? That was cool. That was very cool. Because of us, shouldn't we be out there trying to convince her not to give up her magic? Uh, it's her choice, not ours. Actually, outside of Storybrook, could she no use what, magic? Losing her magic like, is what she wants. Well, maybe it's not such a bad thing. But it's part of who she is. The savior. When she was born... It's a chance. Mm -hmm. Maybe now her best chance is for her to be. Oh no. Normal. I mean, is that really that bad of a conversation? Like, we're not saying we're gonna force her to be normal. We're, like, we're saying we, we accept her choice. <laughs> of course, not literally. That would be gross. <laughs> and I should. She's so, she's so. If you can't handle two people talking, anymore, the idea that maybe you're better, Emma's better off without magic, then you got some issues, girl. Probably easier when I'm not drunk and getting punched. <laughs> thing because I'm just ordinary. Hmm. I mean, Henry's wanted magic for a while, right? Like, that was like his whole thing. Like, when Pan. The pan was around. You have the heart of the truest believer. I got vibes of... You brought us all together. Ooh, Never wow. think you're ordinary just... Jesus. He's so in love with her, he knows her hand size. <laughs> Swan, it's killing again. You have to listen to me. 
I know that you... Because I'm afraid I'll be lying to you too. Go not, back, mail me into Not Harvey. the conversation we really need to have over the phone, but you know. He knew I'd do whatever it takes to be with you and he used it against me. I just wanted to be a better man for you, Swan. Hmm. Why is the why is the dust the dust gonna wear off? Like when it was in the urn, it wasn't it didn't wear off. I guess like, I guess my my like my problem with this season so far is characters' motives aren't ones that I like care about really at all. Like their motives aren't really interesting to me. The most interesting motive I've got right now that I'm really intrigued by is actually uh Gold's. I'm really intrigued by Gold's motives. Um we know what Ice Queen's motives are and I think that they kinda suck. <laughs> uh she just wants she wants a sister. I mean, they don't suck. They're just very. She's, she's crazy. She's, like, she's delusional. I don't know. It's just not a motive that I care about. Elsa, I I like that Elsa. I like that Elsa went um did the whole trick thing. I I like that. Right, that was cool. That was a cool little twist for me. I, I thought they were going the route where Elsa was gonna trust the aunt over Anna, and I was really quite upset about that. But they didn't go that route. Which I like. Um, I don't know what's actually, is there, I don't know if I'm missing something. Is there specifically something that's triggering Emma's powers? Like, is something triggering it, or was this kind of like, this meant to happen, or she was just going to lose control of her powers because it was too much for her? Because I don't know why she's losing control of her powers, but she's had it for so long. And I'm wondering if it was just kind of like, the more she used it, the more the stronger she got, and then the more loss of control she has. Um, so as much as I don't like um, what Regina and uh, Hood are doing, I think it's a good story thing for both characters. I think it actually it kind of helps like the show how much they like they care about one another, where. Regina is when she wants to change history and not be bad no more and not have this, you know, have this be on her and kind of go back and change everything about her past. But then Hood is like this whole guy, this, this guy about integrity and honesty and he's so in love with Regina that it's kind of all going by the wayside. Just, I think it's an interesting character thing. Uh, bringing Will in to, uh, with, with Hood to look for something that uh, whatever, uh, the writer of the book or whatever, I don't know what we're going to find in the library, but... That whole thing is kind of cool. Elsa getting weird about uh, Charming and Snow discussing if maybe Emma's better without powers. If that triggers her, she's got some lingering issues. Now. Yeah, because that's, we're like, we're just talking. We're saying, do you think it's better? Like, we're like, we're literally, we're having a discussion if we, if we think that if what she wants, Emma, good for her like emma wants this it's not like we're we're forcing her down and taking her powers we're talking about if what emma's doing is the right choice for her like it's just a conversation and i also gets all weird about it oh uh, i like i like anna a lot i think anna's like my like i like her as a character of the new characters i think my number one would be will i like and then anna be second i like how bubbly she is she's very much the character from the movie uh Kristen bell's character um other than that that's I didn't like the ending here. I just didn't think it fit. Like, I don't know. She didn't hit her head, but the, but they they it, it was it's a very cliche route here. Oh my god, something in the road, and then your car goes off the road, and then you get you get knocked out, and that's how the episode ends. It's just a very cliche route that you see in the Merlin show. I just don't really care about it. Um, but yeah, overall, I give the episode a seven. I was leaning towards like a hot, like an eight, but I don't know. It didn't kind of stick the landing with me. 
it, I wanted something more for the ending for it to like really be an eight. Because other like other than the goat stuff, I like the goat stuff. I think it's awesome. So I'm actually very curious about that. Hooks, hooks, hooks. Currently in this weird state right now, where I'm not sure what he's providing to the show. Um, with this story right now, he's just kind of like trying to play hero, having long conversations and leaving voicemails. Like I don't know. Like he's not really doing much. I'm curious if what they're gonna if they're gonna do anything with him. Um, and I don't know. I'm very curious of what they're gonna do with Emma. I don't know what the end game of Emma is. Like, Goat is gonna capture Emma and then put her in the hat, and then what? Say that the Ice Queen killed her? I don't know. But let's go through it. We have her back here. Um, it's Merlin, right? That's who they're going. That's what, she, that's what they want to talk to is Merlin. We have Merlin's hat, maybe. You know, goes talk to old man. Tells him about what she wants. She wants us two sisters of magic. I already have one. I'm gonna want another one. We see Emma kind of losing her power. We see Henry coming here to try to help. I like that. Emma freaking the fuck out. She can't control her power. But then her freaking out because she can't control her power is causing her to not control her power. So, interesting. Um, Henry runs away. Bob Queen says, I know how you feel. Well, these two are doing shady shit here. Uh, like I said, I like, for the, I, like, I like it for a character's perspective. It's still messed up um, because of who they are. It's interesting to see this perspective from both of them. I'm actually okay with it. It sucks, and I don't like it from a me point, but from a story point, I think it's good. Um, you know, she talks about the book. He steals the book. I know he's gonna get well. You know, Henry comes in, and Henry needs to. You know, oh my God, Henry, are you okay? You know, I'll help you. Uh, we back. So this part here. So this part I was angry about, but then when the twist happened, I was actually really happy about it. So Auntie comes in. That's all this stuff about Anna. Oh my god, Anna's evil. She's gonna put you in this thing. Also, at first I was like, no, Elsa. You don't go right to the dungeon and talk to her. You deserve everything that happened to you. Uh, then we got this cool moment here where all this shit's going crazy. Um, Emma trusts Gold, which in all honesty, I would have trusted Gold at this point. I would have been like, Gold, you know, care about Henry, care about Neo, you know what I mean? Like I would have, I would have trusted him. So it sucks that he's bad. And I mean, he's always bad, but like doing it for his own personal gain, which is what I guess control. Um, and now this is the twist, which I liked her pretending to be evil. But then I had the question about, so did the guards just go back to honoring the ice queen because of, um, because she's was the original queen. I don't know. I'm very curious. I don't know why. Like when aunt came, when the auntie came over, they just like she just took over, and now they don't listen to them anymore. Like Elsa's the queen. So curious about that. Um, we get Regina back with a little finder spell, which we strangely didn't use. Why didn't we use it? <laughs> we put it down when then Hook leaves. He wants to go help um, Emma. We're searching, we're searching. We see Han. Han's in the cupboard thing. I love this because he walks around like he always does. He always does this, and I like that it was a trap. Very cool. Um, what's the thing with the ribbons? Did I don't think did we know what the ribbons did? Because he said if you're gonna if you think you're gonna put that around around Emma's wrist, like what the hell do the ribbons do? They control the like the person that wears it. Oh, this was a cool scene. I like the scene. I like their interaction. Get Will. I'll be with the book. I like Will. I think he's a cool character, and I like that. Like watching Wonderland, I'm getting to know him more. So, watching Wonderland is actually a cool thing. I wish I would have watched it last season, so that way when he appeared in this season, it would have been like a cool moment for me. I would have watched it like when I was watching last season. Um, yeah, then uh, Elsa overhears them discussing the whole power thing, and she's like, oh, no, we gotta take this and find Emma myself. Um, let me have the whole thing with them looking at a picture of their parents and about what they wanted, and we got these two breaking in. Like, dude, Henry got a little bit of a cut. A little bit of a cut, and they act like dude got him. Look at this. This is a scratch. Dude, if you were skateboarding, you'd get a bigger cut than that. You ain't a baby, bro. 
Like, you should be fine. Like, that's a cut. Like, something went into your neck, and then they're acting all like Henry. <laughs> and then they, you know, she heals him, which is cool. Then we find out the whole power he wants to see, which is he had powers, which I feel we've always kind of gotten that vibe. I think it was really heavy when during Pan, though. I feel like that was a big part of Pan's whole story with um Henry, where. But then again, it was more about saving magic than him wanting to have magic. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it was about because it was about saving magic and saving Neverland. That's what he thought it was about. Um, then we got this whole long ass voicemail that uh, Hook leaves to Emma. This is more of a personal thing. I just never like this kind of trope in um, TV shows. Leaving the like pouring your heart out, leaving the whole voicemail. Thing. I've just never been a fan of that. So that's a me thing. He knows where to go. I want to know how she did this. So she. Knows where Emma's going, and then she shows up here. Emma gets knocked out by the wind. Like, I don't know what knocks her out. Um, and then that's the episode. So, I don't know. I would have been, I wish, I wish it would have ended stronger. I don't know what I would have done. Something cool. I mean, I would have honestly ended it with gold getting Emma into the hat. Kind of cool. Like, ooh, where are we going next? Uh, but yeah, that's my reaction. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episodes over there if you want them. If you don't, totally cool episodes here whenever they show up. I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.